Hi, this is Joel from My Mini Life, and I'm going to show you how to create an item for My Mini Life using the 3D modeling program Google SketchUp. The model I've chosen to work with is going to be a basic chair. So let's go ahead and open our 3D model in SketchUp. Now that we've opened our model, we can move it around, rotate it, and zoom in and out. So in order to create a proper item for My Mini Life, we will need to change a few things about this object. First, we'll go to Camera and click on Parallel Projection. We'll go back to camera, click on standard views, and finally on ISO. These settings will put our model into the same isometric plane that My Mini Life uses. Now we're almost ready to create our item, but before we export our item to our renderer, we want to change a few settings there as well. Click on plugins, instant Pavre render, and on image options. These settings tell the renderer how to create our images. So we want to save our images in a PNG format. We'll select our image size as 640 by 480. We'll turn anti-aliasing on to smooth some of the edges of our image. And we'll also turn the alpha channel on in order to preserve transparency. And click OK. And remember, you only need to change these settings once. Now we're ready to export our model. Click on Plugins, Instant Pavre Render, and click Go. This will now export our model into a program called Pavre, which we will use to render the item. We are using Pavre because it provides more photorealistic images than SketchUp does. All we need to do here is click on the big green Run button. And it will create our image. Now we're done with this, so we can go ahead and close it. And let's make sure we have our image. As you can see here, we've created our image. So. We want to rename this image so that we don't lose it when we create our other images. So here I've named it dash one for the first view of this item. Now we'll go back to SketchUp and we need to create the other three images. To do this we will need to rotate the model around so that it is close to the next angle. You don't have to worry about being perfect because we'll be changing the camera again anyways. So click on camera, standard views, and on ISO. This will snap the image back into a perfect isometric projection. Now all we need to do is repeat the same export and rendering process for the rest of the item and we'll be ready to create our item in My Mini Life. We'll rename this one to dash 2 for our second view. Rotate this again. Snap back into the isometric projection. And render it out. Rename this to dash 3 for the third image. And almost the last one. There. Now we're done rendering. We can take a look at all four images that we've created. Now we're ready to put these into the My Mini Life item creator. I've already gone ahead and done that and have brought this into the mini home here. As you can see, I've already created the item. And that's all there is to it.